This is the back of the Ordbot Hadron printer with a 20 watt, 12 volt power supply. It feeds into the Sane Smart Ramps 1.4 controller with a Sane Smart Arduino Mega 2560. On the front, we have the LCD, which these uh, black cables here are uh, have been foil wrapped and then covered in uh, black electrical tape so that it keeps out any uh, noise or crosstalk or anything coming from any of the other uh, wiring in the back which is a little bit of a mess but uh, not it works I'm using the same smart uh, end stops that uh, have the actual switches this uh, gives a little bit more uh, flexibility in mounting and aligning so that uh, you're sure that it recognizes uh, that it's actually at the end stop. One thing I should point out, not that I have the uh, the best example, but uh, is cable management. Uh, you want to make sure that you have your, uh, you know, any of your cables to that go to any of the moving parts. Uh, protected because you don't want just uh, loose wires dangling and and coming up because they'll they can get jammed up inside the uh, your railing or you know they could get chafed on uh, you know sharp or semi sharp edges or even get caught up in your gears and if you do that you're gonna cause all kinds of damage you know, rewiring and all that sort of stuff so spend a couple bucks I spend a total of like ten dollars on all the uh, the cable management stuff you know the I got some uh, heat shrink I got this uh, expanding uh, uh, nylon mesh uh, cable protecting material and then this uh, just cheap plastic uh, conduit that uh, I ran everything through and use plenty of zip ties they're cheap use them and make sure that you know you you get all your cables and wires protected it's a little bit of a mess right here on my extruder setup, and that's because I put it together and I took it apart and put it together and took it apart. And I think I have it set exactly how I need it and everything, so I'm going to go ahead and button these down and make it look a little bit neater and uh, make sure that these things aren't flopping around in the wind and also try to offset these a little bit from the motors so that the, the motors can get a little bit more air. Um, When putting together the Ordbot Hadron uh, frame, mechanical frame with the, the stepper motors, it's very, very critical to get the, uh, the various V-rail posts lined up and squared as best as you can. The, uh, if you just bolt it together and just kind of eyeball it, you're, uh, you're going to have some binding possibly with your Z-axis or you're going to have uh, some offset prints and trying to uh, calibrate and uh, level your heated bed is going to be a nightmare. So I highly recommend just a simple little, uh, you know, carpenter square, something that makes it really easy to go and check your 90 degree angles to compare uh, and, and adjust. What I did was I loosely assembled each bit of the uh, mechanical railing and, and parts, and I used this to set up and check at you know the various angles like for right here and here and uh, you know don't forget about your your actual Y rail here you want to make sure that this is perpendicular as best as you can to this uh, this axis here so maybe hard to see but you know, you get the idea. You're going to want to put this in there and double check that that it's lined up just right. And, you know, it's going to take some adjusting, some uh, tweaking and peaking. But once you do it, you'll be very glad you did. You know, make sure you put some uh, Loctite or some kind of, uh, you know, uh, thread adhesive to uh, the bolts that, that you put in so that once you do it, you know, they stay put. And, you know, crank them down, but don't don't overdo it. So you don't want to, you know, strip anything out. Um, but, it, you know, it's it's imperative that you uh, take the time in putting it together. It may be exciting to get this thing going and try to do a test print, but it, your print's going to come out like garbage if you don't 
do the little bit of due diligence beforehand and and put it together properly. Now once you've done that, aligning your, uh, if you're doing a dual extruder setup like I did here, you, you're going to have a lot of uh, adjustments and a lot of things you're going to need to do to make sure that each point of your printhead, uh, the z-axis, is set up just right. Uh, with the, the X and Y, so the, the Y offset and the, the X offset, it's uh, that can be adjusted in software, but if you know one point is a little lower than the other, one you're not going to be able to line up your z-axis and get your bed your bed set right. But if you start to print with one, when the other one slides over it, when you're printing somewhere over here, it's going to knock it and you're, you're going to knock your print off your, uh, your heated bed. So take your time, get it set as best as you can, and uh, you'll be very glad you did.